Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace against Leeds United. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. We should be in for a great match today. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith, to describe the action for you. Yeah, hi there, Martin. I'm hoping we're going to describe some really exciting action here. Yeah, he's gone too early. He's offside. position they've worked this attack very well it got to be what a good way to score what a way to start the game first attempt first goal and that's a goal well worth analyzing again and the score is one nil Tackle. Penalty at Stamford Bridge. Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Tottenham Hotspur. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Here he comes. Oh, it's a great penalty. High into the corner, away from the goalkeeper. Ten minutes played, 1 0. Cheers, Alan. Could get his cross in now. Which way is he going to go now? Could be a goal. That's how to tackle. Good forward play from them. Well, this player has been out of touch, but he's going to start the game. Well, he is, and the manager's sticking with him, hoping that he'll come out the other end of this poor runner form. Very good save. It's been a sending off at Stamford Bridge. Alan McAnally. It's a sending off for Tottenham Hotspur. They're down to 10 men. 23 minutes played. It remains 1 1. Thank you very much, Alan. Can he turn away from the challenge here? Advantage rule leads allowed to play off. Rodrigo. Got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. Attacking now. And now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Could have stopped it, the referee. Crystal Palace allowed to play on because of the advantage rule. He's gone for goal. Well, the goalkeeeper's had to make a save. The shot was a decent enough one, but too straight. Elsewhere, there's been a sending off. Let's hear from Alan McAnally. It's a red card for Nottingham Forest. They're down to 10 men. 32 minutes played. It remains 1 0. Thanks, Alan. Surely. Could it be? Well, well done, the goalkeeper. There was real power in that shot. Guaita. He's enduring a sticky spell at the moment, but they're asking to. And here's the shot. He's hit that perfectly. And the keeper's done well to keep it out. Here's the cross. Good reach by the goalkeeper to tip it over the bar. Now, they've got a corner on the attack again, the team that's leading by one goal. Wasn't very confident defending, but it's done the job. Well, the referee is blown. It's in his mind now. Well, that's a fantastic clearance. He rose to the occasion and saved the day. Rodrigo. He's in here. Oh! Well, that is 
his so-called weaker foot. It did look weak then. It did, and he was reluctant to, to let fly. He had to, though. It was his only choice, but uh, I think a bit of work on the training ground wouldn't go amiss. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. Well, we've had a breakthrough, Alan, but decisive, do you think? I wouldn't uh, bank on it. It doesn't appear to be a game, Martin. Change of ends, and the second half is underway. from the back, because it's a back pass to the keeper. Joel Ward. James McCarthy. It's a good ball, they could be in. That kind of tenacity allows him to make that sort of tackle. He just won't go away, will he? He's a thorn in the side of this team. Interceptor has got the ball here. They've only got three points, the home team, from their last five league games. Yeah, it's a meagre return, and it might cost them come the end of this season. And uh, a chance here, though, to put things right. James McArthur into the face of the opposition. Goal news from Everton, Alan McInally. It's a goal for Southampton. 60 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Oh, he's put it into the goalkeeper's gloves. It's a poor touch, and the possession's gone away. of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's the second goal for West Ham United. 70 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers, Alan. Well, here we've got the possession stats so far for you coming up on the screen. Well, nothing to split the two sides. This is when you're looking for somebody to pick out a hole, create the pass, create the goal. Challenges for the ball. Could be a booking here. Trying to up the ante, the visiting team here. Eight points from the last five league games. If they could get another three today. Well, then it begins to look a little bit more respectable, but uh, they need to get that win. The managers oh, for both sides are going to make a change now. And it's back to him again. It. Looked a bit panicky from the defender. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Goal news from Everton, Alan McInally. It's a goal for Everton. Nine minutes remain. 1-1. One, one. Thanks, Alan. He's in at goal. Oh, oh it's a goal. And they've pulled it back. A very good team. Yeah, and I think their midfielders, Martin, they are a class above the opponents today. Let's see the replay now. Well, that was the equaliser, and it's 1-1. One, one. He 
Hit the clear. Got to be. This late, and that's great. It must be the winning goal. It's hardly going to be time to restart this with the lateness of the goal. Perfect timing, that one. Alan, have another look at this goal. This goes to show Martin, keep on going till the last minute and you might just get your reward and they have here, it seems. And up on the scoreboard here, it says 2-1. That's a decent challenge by the opponent. Opportunity. The goalkeeper can hang on to that. And that's the end of the match, and it's 2 1. Really good game to watch. Good attacking play, edge of the seat stuff for the spectators. It's what the game's all about. Yeah, and there's nothing better, Martin, than seeing quality strikers go about the work. And uh, we certainly did today. They're at the top of the game. Over now to give you the classified results. Thanks, Martin and Alan. The Barclays Premier League. Bournemouth 1, Arsenal 1. Aston Villa 1, Manchester United 1. Chelsea 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1, Crystal Palace 1,